Vacations. I'm here at Austin Bergstrom International Airport bright and early today for the first flight out non-stop to Fort Lauderdale so I can get on the Celebrity Beyond today. Brand new ship. I'm so honored to have been invited to the inaugural and the Navy ceremony. So I will show you this fantastic new ship later today. So please follow along. Coffee one or the regular coffee? Thank you so with Southwest, you line up and you put your own seat. So I upgrade to make sure I'm always in the A's so I can get my carry on on for sure. And uh, I'm up in front, which is nice. And Welcome aboard. So there are no power ports, there's no USB. Um, so I'm going to turn you off. <laughs> Okay, we made it to Port Lauderdale. It's like 85 degrees here. Can't wait to get on board and check out this wonderful ship. All right, go, and go find an Uber. We got a group of celebrity beyond people. It is hot and humid here in Florida, people. <laughs> There's a taxi stand right here with no waiting, so we're just gonna do that. So it's about a 10 minute drive um, the, from the taxi from FLL, the Fort Lauderdale Airport to Port Everglades. Super simple. Miami is about a 30 minute drive. So to, to get through the security, they want to see your ID, passport, or a driver's license. Alright, there's the beautiful celebrity beyond waiting for us, our home for the next two nights. See the magic carpet that's the little orange um, thing there on the side i don't know how to describe that yeah. she is new, right? brand, brand new, new. <laughs> we're here for the first sailings okay. i'm here celebrity beyond <laughs> you need your passport and your boarding pass to get on all right This is the security first. Next step, we have check-in. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. I love being at <laughs> Welcome to the beyond. Thank you, awesome. So they're not boarding quite yet. We're a little early, so we have to take a seat to wait. Okay, I'm getting you onto the ship today. All right, your important job for about five minutes. 
I load in small groups. You are small group number three. While I'm loading small group one and two, the key to this working successfully is to stay seated. I sometimes I wait a few minutes in between groups because of the flow on the gangway. All day number. So exciting. You just have to get your CPAS card out. We just have to scan our code. Oops. My cabin is forward, so I'm going to try to be as close to forward as possible, which I am. So this is why I like my spinner roller bags. You have all these ramps to go up. Very easy. All right, we're here. <laughs> Thank you. We are entering right at Park West Gallery. So when you hit carpet, it's really hard to roll your bags. So um, just be ready for struggling, <laughs> trying to get to the non-carpeted areas. Way forward is the theater. Club, one of my most favorite places on board. I am waiting for the elevators from deck five. I am in 8194, so that means I need to go, <laughs> that means I have to go aft. So they do even and odds, which makes it easy. And I'm going towards the aft. Now this looks just like Apex. All right, 8194, and they give you your key cards. A nice beautiful heavy card. Nice. Okay, so you have a temperature control right as you enter, and there's no um, electric thing of the electric thing like in other cruise lines. Interesting. So I have a beautiful king size bed here. A desk. Oh, and I have an infinity balcony again, like I did on the Apex. <clears throat> so on these balconies, you can close off the room or keep it open and just open that top window. The controls are here. Let's see if it's still the same. Yeah, it's still the same where you have to actually hold it down for it to work which is a little annoying. I wish I could just push it once. Okay, so that's all the way down. <clears throat> oh, and there's my friends at the New Amsterdam right behind me. Okay, so this is where the magic carpet comes up and down. Uh, so when it, it comes down, it might be blocking my view to the right some. <clears throat> this is the bathroom. Oh, I actually had a much larger bathroom on Norwegian, but I was in a suite, so it, I don't know if I can really compare. The thing I do love about celebrity is they give you this foot thing, uh, a foot rest so that you can wash your legs easily. <laughs> so here there is plenty of storage space. And the towels are okay. They're not fantastic, cushy towels. So the question is, where is the closet? Okay, is this a closet? Hmm. Aha. Okay, so this is the closet. There is very little space here between the bed and the closet. Oh. And they don't have the cush on the inside like the Norwegian robes do, did. And there's, it's not terry, but it, it feels like it's gonna be a comfy robe. 
So they do have a lot of hangers and they even have long hangers, which Norwegian did not have. They have the safe and they have uh, three drawers. So I'm here alone, which gives me more space than when people have to share, obviously. Oops. So it looks like there's no charging here and no electric on that side. Aha, uh -huh, here's the charging. So on one side, you have electric and you have two charging ports. And then here on the desk, you have all of this electric and charging. There's room service. And I have a stateroom attendant, Hapit. Then we've got some drawers out here also. And this is the refrigerator. They have stocked it with some things, but not things I drink. So when you want the shade down, you just press this and the shade comes down. And that goes all the way to the floor. That one you can just press once and it stays uh, pressed until it's all the way to the bottom, which is nice. <clears throat> so that's a blackout shade, which is nice for when you want to sleep. And then when you wake up, you press it to go up. Nope. It's beautiful. These doors can close like that. The first thing you have to do when you get on board is watch the safety briefing. First, separate the Velcro. Then place the so the first thing I always do is unpack my suitcase and then I put the suitcase under the bed. I set up my CPAP and my phone charger next to the bed. And I set up my computer with the Wi-Fi. And on Celebrity, um, the plan that we have is premium Wi-Fi, which is only one device at a time. So you have to knock off somebody to go back on. You can buy a Wi-Fi package that allows four devices, which I normally would want to do. My other packing trick is to always bring a beach bag type of a bag so I can put my towel in it and bring that down to the pool with me. So as you can see, I have space for a few things. I brought little mini dresses um, as well as a couple of long ones. And there's not, uh, there's really not a great way to hang dresses in here. Um, but I mean, it works. I have enough space for two nights. And this little corner opens up for more storage. And there's a Celebrity Cruises bag here. Nice. This one opens also for more storage. So you can control things um, from the tap control. You can control the lighting. Um, you can put everything to sleep and control the temperature as well. 
I also put my passport and wallet and my key to my car in the safe as soon as I get in. I also always pack a charging block and that way as I take videos all day I can just plug in when I get low on battery. And this is my tripod. I use a Gorillapod with, uh, with a microphone attached and it has a MagSafe so I can just pop my phone on and off of that and the Gorillapod lets me wrap around bars and makes it very flexible. Okay, I am going to start with going to deck four midship, which is my muster station, to check in there. And that happens to be the coffee shop, one of my favorite places. So I might get some lunch. I'll see what they have there. Going down. So they show you the time. Oops, gotta go to four. Um, the time, the temperature. <laughs> Everything is in here, so you know where you're going, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're gonna head midship. So to um, check in, you look for your muster station. Mine is over in Cafe Albacu, so I am gonna go try to find that. This is the future cruise area. You can get your next uh, cruise here. Make sure you put Lainey Melnick as your travel agent. Oh, this is the shore excursions area. We actually don't have any ports the sailing so I don't need to do anything there and this is the photos area oh and here's Cafe Albaccio's okay, so this is Cafe Albaccia I, I pronounced it wrong it's Baccia this is all complimentary but this is the coffee shop and this is all complimentary right yes always it's all always always complimentary Okay, so this is the martini bar down here where they do great shows. Good, how are you? Beautiful dress. Nice to you. Yeah. All right, here's my muster station. <laughs> Just need to scan my card. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have to use a Norwegian one. Seven short one long glass to come here to this muster station. So it's Cafe Albaccio, easy place to remember the coffee shop. So we're yes. desk four here in the middle of the ship. Okay. No need to look for your life jacket in the stateroom. We provide them here at the muster station if we need to abandon ship. Okay. And lastly, if you need any medical assistance throughout the cruise, you can call 911 on any of the ship's phones, or it's located deck two and four, so at the front of the ship. Thank you. Are we on? Yes. Oh, look who's here. Oh, pretty. Thank you. Nobody's here dancing yet, but tonight. Um, that's where you figure out how to get online. And I am gonna go upstairs to the buffet. I had gone down to deck three, the Grand Plaza. Hey, look, it's Jay. Hi. Are you with us too? Yeah. Oh yes, yes, I'm hi, Lainey. I'm Heather, nice hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Oh, I lost my, oh, <laughs> oh, sorry. Deck 15, where the rooftop garden is, Sunset Bar and the jogging track. These are champagne glass hot tubs. Top garden, such a beautiful area of the ship. <laughs> this is the rooftop garden grill and the sunset bar. And these plunge pools are awesome. I don't think I saw these on the apex, and they have a clear side. I can't wait to get in and show you. 
this. <laughs> awesome. This is the sunset bar. Everybody's getting a drink. All my friends are here. <laughs> I just love celebrities. Celebrity is like a premium cruise line. Uh, beautiful, elegant. It's got great options. It's beautiful. <laughs> All right, so the pressure is on because there have been so many amazing pictures of this ship already and videos. I have to be creative. I have to really think out of the box. <laughs> So I'm trying. So this is the magic carpet, which goes up and down. I don't think they start going up and down until about six o'clock though. I've been on Celebrity several times and I've never actually gone up and down on the magic carpet. So I'm hoping this is the time, maybe this time. So the two places open for lunch today are the grill and the buffet. Grill is hot dogs and hamburgers. Let's see what everything looks like. Hi guys. <laughs> All right. I don't see anything grilling. <laughs> Hi. All right, we'll check out the buffet. This is the solarium, which is the adults only pool area. It is covered and it's a little hot and humid down here but it is beautiful and much more quiet in this area. This is the Spa Cafe and Juice Bar. So they have some light choices. <laughs> so this is deck 14. To the left is uh, the spa and to the right is Ocean Cafe. Right here is the spa. One of my most favorite places in the world. <laughs> okay, let me describe the smell. I can't describe it. <laughs> okay, of course there's a barber. Oh, nice. And there's the hairstylist for women on this side, Manny Petties. Nice. We're already getting their hair done today. Hi. This is one of the treatment rooms. This is the relaxation lounge. So there are two ports very close together out here in Florida. You've got Port Everglades, which is near Fort Lauderdale Airport, and Miami Port, which is near the Miami Airport. You can use either airport though, it's just a little bit further to take the Miami to Fort Lauderdale um, This shower actually was really fun to do when I was at the spa last time. I love, they have different uh, controls and different kinds of showers. And this is the ladies changing area. <laughs> they give you lockers and showers. And I, what I always tell my clients is if if you don't like the shower in your room, come down and shower in the spa. Especially in there. This is the salt therapy room. You inhale. There's no, it's room temperature in there. <laughs> it's 
the infrared sauna. Ooh, very hot in here, dry heat. And then this is the crystallarium. Hmm, smells interesting in here. It's a little warmer. Not super cush. <laughs> so there's not a ton of stuff to do in um, their spa, but if you want a relaxing area to go in the sauna and steam, this is the place to go. Oh, so you have the aroma steam. Oh, I'm sorry, I won't get you. The steam room. Oh, steamy. And then this is the hammam, which is a Turkish bath. So that was the spa. Walked one deck up to 15 to show you the fitness center. I could have done it from inside the spa there. This is more of the spa area, special treatment rooms. This is the quartz table that I did the last time I was in Apex. And I don't know if you remember from that video, but the dust, um, the dust comes up and um, it made my allergies start acting up in my quartz treatment, but it's a really cool treatment to do. <laughs> 14 is where you find the Ocean View Cafe, which is the buffet. Goops is the place you come to get your ice cream, of course. <laughs> Kundo Baccio is the other coffee shop that's inside the buffet. Of course, I always start with desserts. <laughs> so their buffet is set up in sections. You have the bakery up front here. Oops, sorry. I'm sorry. That's okay. Creme brulees. Uh, they don't have like the sugar topping. And some pies. We have salads. Very healthy. <laughs> Uh, the Indian foods. Yum. Hello. <laughs> Ooh, that looks spicy. <laughs> Hi. Mm, look at that. The sandwich area. You can just make your own sandwiches or ask them to make your own sandwiches. <laughs> These, of course. Mm. I don't see any brie. Let me look for brie. Uh, <laughs> so I love, I love oh, sorry, this. Yeah. Yikes. Thank you. A Caesar salad. And then there's the carvery. What are you carving today? <laughs> Thank you. Look at this. Well, I guess this is chimichurri, steak, chicken. Of the Latin favorites area. Make your own tacos. Chef favorites. Complimentary drinks are iced tea, fruit punch, passion, orange guava, lemonade, and water, coffee, and tea, and fruit. Little vegetarian area. It was Asian over here. I got it mixed up with Indian. Is my bread? Okay. In a panini. Um, well, I'll do the cheese one. Yeah. 
And then yeah. I'll get the cheddar, or what kind of cheese is that one? Cheese. I'll do cheddar. Yeah. And then um, a variety of the meats. Variety? Yes. All the meats? Yes. Like some turkey also? Sure. <laughs> Yeah, just like one piece of each, or whatever you need to fill it. Tomato and cucumber. Next some mayonnaise. Uh, yes, mayo. I'll do regular mayo and some um, mustard. Yeah. Perfect. Like it fresh? I like it fresh, yes. check out the Welcome Home Beyond Suite 15100. And that's forward on deck 15. Where's this? Oh, I have to go right up on top of the stairs. Okay. Right up here. You enter this from the outside. It's the Edge Villa. So this is the upstairs bathroom. It has a nice shower with a seat and this tub. Looks like you can recline. <laughs> upstairs, there's this king bed with a TV that comes down if you'd like to see a TV. So it looks like there's just one bedroom in here. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm going to go look downstairs. Back down at the bottom level now. And you have your own little sun deck out here with your hot tub. Okay, so there's only one king bed? One king bed, but it does sleep four. It sleeps four because this. Okay, got it. All right, and you do have a little kitchenette kind of bar area. Okay, awesome. Thank you. It's a full bath down here also. Uh, to the retreat Sunday. Okay. It's an entry to the retreat right from upstairs in the Edge Villa. Oh, thank you. Each room gets their own little patio out to the retreat. You can see you know your number. And then... Upstairs, there are the hot tubs. Oh, so this is the upstairs retreat sun deck, and they have the whirlpool up here. So we're all the way aft, I think. So this is still the retreat area, and this is the pool. I actually love these little swing, you know, like red, I don't know what you'd even call them, the, the chairs in the pool. Oh, and this is cute. With cabanas. If I had my swimsuit on, I'd be in there. There is shower right here too. There are lots of little relaxing areas up here, and then you do have a uh, bar of course as well All right so i walked down one from the retreat and here's lumine which is the restaurant for the sweets no, they're they're actually serving some food in here today it's lovely 
this is how the suite guests eat. This is their private dining room. Look at this art. All right, now we're doing the suites on deck 12. This is cabin 110 on deck 12, so 12, 110. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the penthouse suite. Living area. Okay. You can hear the guest bedroom, <laughs> guest bedroom. and you, you can also okay. shut these doors so that uh, you know, the master bedroom can have more privacy. And this is perfect for uh, guests that want to entertain other guests and their families and their uh, groups. This uh, dining table sits up to eight, so you can okay. actually ask for, for uh, extra chips. Okay, so sleep six, you can entertain up to eight. So this is one bedroom. Oh, so sorry. Yeah. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Don't nice forget to, to you. see you at the um, the happy hour things. Oh, yeah. Yes. All right. So this is the one bathroom. It looks like they have a bidet and a toilet. Oh, nice. And then a shower that has a rain shower and a handheld and a a bench. I forgot what that's called. <laughs> And then a nice jacuzzi tub. Mm, I should sneak in here and use that this trip. So that is one balcony area. <clears throat> All right, and then there's this one other bedroom with a bath. Also with two rain shower heads. So interesting. So this is deck 12, suite 100. And this one is the iconic suite. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is my favorite. So how many people does this? This will sleep six people. It's six. two bedrooms and two baths. Okay. It's a large brand of 700 square feet. I'm so sorry it is pouring rain here in Florida, so all of a sudden you can't see outside. So this is the living area of the iconic suite. So this is the largest suite that they have as far as um, square footage, and none of their suites sleep more than six people. This is the master, and again, the TV comes out of the ceiling. And you saw the other bedroom, right? From the hallway? Yeah, there's another room here. So this is two, two bedrooms. So yeah, that's okay. Thank you. Yes, yes. Yes. So this is the master bedroom. Thank you. 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 Thank Rain shower heads. Oh. You even have your own Instagrammable moments here, your own iconic suite. <laughs> well, you have another bedroom and bathroom. So it's smaller. Hmm. I guess they're washing the windows out there. <laughs> Hi, right, we're going around the bend here to another one. This is deck 12, suite 103. This is the royal suite. There's a living area and then a bath right to the left of the entrance. Hmm. Yeah, I'll be, yeah, I'll be down there. Uh, I'll be down there. Sleeps four. No, no, no. Well, other So this is the bedroom. And you have a balcony here. So it's actually a kind of a small suite. 
And then you, you have the infinity balconies here as well. It sleeps four? Yes, ma'am. King bed with a pull out cap. Okay, so this is deck 12, suite 121. Thank you. Anxiously. All right. One bathroom right inside the door. Sleeps four, two on the couch. Sleep four. And there's one bathroom. This is the celebrity suite. 20 of them on board. These 20 that sleep four. Yes, all right. So that's the same bathroom we just saw. Okay. So a smaller tub with a shower. And then the balcony. Now we're on deck 11. So this is deck 11, suite 217. So this is a sky suite. It sleeps four. You have one bed here, and then this bed turns into a trundle and a sleeper, and you have a balcony back here. Here's your balcony. Okay. So you see through. You see through to the bedroom. All right, deck 10, 118. Oh. All right, so this is the bathroom in the Aqua Class Suite. It's because of the stuff they have. It's the Aqua Sky Suite. Oops. So there's a waking bed. And then there's a couch also. So this is Deck 11, Suite 295. Should have the infinite door, so okay. you should take, see it. Take okay. <laughs> so this is the sunset veranda yeah. stateroom. It is a king bed with a pull out, and um, it does have a real balcony. So it has a balcony. Right. Right. It's about this is not a sleeper sofa. It only sleeps two. Yeah. Just stop and take a picture of this because he's so cute. Now we're on deck 10. This is deck 10, cabin 149. Oops. This one is an inside cabin sleeps. This one actually <laughs> sleeps two at sleeps the moment. Two. Okay. But we do have some that are either triples or quads. The inside bathroom, still about the same size as I have on my balcony. Okay. This is deck 10, cabin 131. So it's the same bathroom as in the uh, inside. We've never had what that was. Yeah, we've never had suites. This is the same kind of cabin I have with an infinite yes. veranda, but you're saying this is an aqua suite and concierge yes. as well? Yes. So the difference are the amenities and the role is still right here. Uh, so, so all of the Aqua Class Sierra Class are the exact same cabins. This is Deck A, sweet, or Cabin 247. So this is a little room here. This looks like an accessible cabin because you can roll in. And that's why there's so much room for scooters and wheelchairs. This is an edge accessible stateroom with an infinite veranda. Yeah, it's really roomy. <laughs> I like how roomy it is. On deck six, cabin 135. This is a panoramic ocean view cabin. So it's panoramic because you just have this floor to ceiling <clears throat> window, but it's like an infinite front. Oh. <clears throat> so it's the same bathroom as the rest of them. On deck five, I have so many of my favorite places. The theater, Eden Blue, World Class Bar, Fine Cut Steakhouse, Raw on Five, the art gallery, shops and restrooms. Let's go look where the theater is. Hello. Ron Five, one of my favorite places, sushi. We do a show three times a day here. I will show you later. The steakhouse. Hi. Beautiful. Now, if I just had a steak to eat, I found the man. Hello. The man, the man that get things done. <laughs>
get things done. All right, here we go. This is my favorite place, Eden. This is where everybody was getting those pictures. I think this is new, chocolates. <laughs> I don't remember that on Apex. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Chocolates, yum yum. <laughs> this is blue, where the aqua class guests get to eat their special meals. So this is the blue restaurant, exclusive to aqua class passengers. They have some of the coolest drinks here. One of my favorite bars. <laughs> All right, we have our private gathering with Dondra. <laughs> so we have a special event with Dondra, who's the vice president of um, a Celebrity Cruises. And I actually won a day with Dondra uh, with my Make-A-Wish auction. But I haven't had my day yet. So I was kind of hoping I would be able to combine it with this, but it wasn't going to work out. So, um, so I'll be seeing a lot more of Dondra probably next year. <laughs> Stay tuned. Welcome to the beautiful Celebrity Beyond. Do you love it? So we are so thrilled and honored to have you guys. We know that it's a commitment that you will give us two full days of your heart and soul. I want you to take a little nap today because I will expect to see all of you in the club at 10.30 to be dancing with me to Soul Town. Right? And I promise you I'll be the first one in and the last one out. So I don't want to hear nothing about age or airplanes or time or nothing. <laughs> Is it okay? okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me a ladder run. <laughs> These guys are going to take care of me tonight. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Can I get a stretch? Yeah. He's making me something special. Aww. Look at that. Yeah. I love bartenders. <laughs>
Eden has some of the coolest drinks. I love the cocktails here. I'm going to have the shaman. drinks that they do here at the Eden. They're all just super creative and some are really cool. I showed you on my Apex video how the smoke comes out of that box. Um, I can't remember what the name of the drink is, but it's so good. This is delicious. It's so good. It's called the Shaman. Shaman. Everybody wants it now. <laughs> I 
love it. I love school, man. <laughs> crazy after you had a little too much to drink at Eden. I don't know where there's mirrors or where there's a walkway.
on three, you've got Camp at Sea. Aw, cute. All right, so I have reservations for Normandy tonight, which is one of the complimentary restaurants. I think it's the French restaurant. So Celebrity has complimentary dining, it's anytime dining, but um, they have four different restaurants that have four different themes of uh, cuisine. So tonight I am going to do French, Normandy, which is my favorite, of course, because I am French. I've been drinking a little bit today, which is really unusual for me. <laughs> and since I haven't eaten all day today, um, the alcohol has kind of got to me. So <laughs> there's a long night ahead, with lots of dancing, lots of fun, lots of entertainment. So I'm hoping to stay awake. <laughs> I'm Lady Velvet. I have a reservation. <laughs> With all my fans. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here to keep me company. <laughs> thank you. Oh, it was perfect. I'll do the same. Thank you. Um, can I get a white wine? Thank you very much. Oh, look, they have baked brie cheese and beef tenderloin on croutes. Yummy. And on their classic menu, which is what they have every day, they have French onion soup and escargot. Oh my god, my escargot. I'm so excited. I've obviously been drinking way too much tonight. <laughs> so much good food. Oh, okay. Great, thank you. All right, those are my beautiful escargot. So those of you who follow me know I am French. I was born in France. French food is very special to me, especially escargot. I love escargot. So they didn't really give me any good bread for my escargot, which is kind of strange. But um, let's see. It is kind of a classic escargot with garlic, garlic uh, butter. Whoops. <laughs> It's good. It's not fabulous. It's good. It's good, solid escargot. <laughs> it might be the bread, really. I think bread makes a huge difference. It's good. It doesn't blow me away, though. <laughs> okay, that has to be the baked brie on croutes. I love baked brie. Oh my god. Delicious. It looks like they put some baked apples on it. I'm not into them. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you could see how it's melting. Oh my god. Love this. I'm going to 
put it on some Yeah, Now that's good. <laughs> I love brie. That's very good. Alright, then this is the French onion soup. Always my test of really good French food. So they don't put enough cheese in it for my taste. I can tell you right now. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty good. I really love cheese, as you can probably tell. <laughs> it is good French onion soup, but I like it when the cheese is like all over the top and crusted around the outside. It's very good. It really is very good. But it's just not the style I prefer. <laughs> Here's my tenderloin on crudes. We'll see how that compares to our Norwegian beef wellington from the other day. Looks delicious. <laughs> I think Norwegian's was actually better. And Norwegian's didn't blow me away either. Um, and, and they're not trying, they didn't say this was beef wellington. So I shouldn't really compare it to beef wellington, it's just beef and crud, but um, it's only okay. <laughs> this is the dessert menu. So I can't decide between the chocolate cake and this uh, chocolate cherry trifle. Alright, this is the chocolate cake. I'm so tired, I really need a power nap before I go out and dance tonight. So much nightlife until like 1.30 in the morning. Okay. Chocolate cake. It's good, but I don't love it. But it's good. But I'm just really picky tonight, I think. I mean, it's good cake. But I like it to be really super fudgy and lots more um, frosting. <laughs> So for main dining, it was a delicious dinner, very good. I love the French food. Um, you know, it's I have such high quality taste. <laughs> I love Michelin star dining. I love specialty Bye. dining. Bye guys. <laughs> so I feel bad because I really I'm so picky with food, but um, it's very good. It was very good dining. Well, they've done my turn down service and look what they gave me. Oh, they gave me a, a Celebrity Beyond backpack and tomorrow's uh, schedule. Let's see, I'm gonna have to turn the light on, I think. So to turn the light on, I want to do that. Oh, nice. Okay. So let's see what this says. Oh, thank you. Thank you, celebrity. I think this is tomorrow's schedule then. I have to try to take a power nap so I can make it through the rest of the night. There's so much to do tonight still. Oh, I didn't even see they gave me chocolates. I love that. I love waking up to this view, but with the shade, the blackout shade down, you can't see anything and it's like you're in an inside cabin which is really annoying to me it's after 10 a.m it makes me sleep really well in a blackout room but um i like to see the ocean and i like to know where i am and if it's day or night when i wake up um so it's a little annoying that i have to get up cover myself open the shade and then get back into bed so i can enjoy it but this is a super comfy bed. I, I love the bed. The pillows are perfect. The blanket is really comfy and cozy and warm. The room temperature was warm and really perfect for me. Um, it was a lot better 
situation than I had on Norwegian in my suite. So I like that you can open your uh, top half of your window. But I, I really don't like not having a real balcony. I prefer a real balcony and there are cabins on board that have them. Um, so I would just recommend that you use those instead of these infinity balconies. I just don't particularly like the way that it separates you um, from the ocean. And, and while it lets you open a window, that's not the same as feeling like you're out there on the ocean. Good morning from the middle of the Caribbean Ocean. We're in the Bahamas somehow, <laughs> but we're just kind of wandering around. We're not gonna stop anywhere today. This is my last full day on board the beautiful Celebrity Beyond. I'm gonna see as much as I can. I, I can't believe I came back here for a power nap last night after that amazing dinner. And I, just, I set my alarm for, for 30 minutes which was going to be perfect before all the dancing and fun and entertainment of the night. And I don't know what happened. I think I turned off my alarm, but as soon as I hit that bed, it was, it was done. Hard sleep. Like I am now it's like 10 30 in the morning and I'm just now getting up and getting ready for the day. I'm not going to miss tonight. I promise. <laughs> um, I love the nighttime entertainment here too. It's amazing dancing, great clubs, amazing Eden. Oh my gosh, the Eden shows are fabulous. And the main theater, at least I saw some of the theater at last night. Um, <laughs> so much to show you today to finish up our, our tour of the, <laughs> so much to show you today to finish up your tour of the Celebrity Beyond. I have to get to the theater at 11 a.m. so I can talk to all the celebrity execs. So I've got to run. Follow me. Okay, time to start my day. <laughs> Thank goodness they have coffee and snacks for me.
opportunity uh, that we try to capitalize on every single day and um, and you know it's it's it needs to be intentional uh, and it needs to be purposeful and it needs to be constant um, especially in parts of our industry that don't have very many women and the last time that I sailed with Captain Kate before I sailed uh, with her and her amazing crew on Celebrity Beyond this ship in the Greek Isles amazing spectacular experience. She and I were chatting and I said, you know, Captain, the last time we sailed together was for the International Women's Day cruise in March of 2020, where we manned the entire bridge with women. It was historic, it was barrier breaking. All of the leaders on board were women. I left, the we started the cruise on Saturday or Sunday. I left on Wednesday, back in the office on Thursday, went home for the weekend on Friday, and we shut down. And I uh, will never forget going from such an amazing high to such a horrible low. And we're not gonna talk about COVID about because we're going forward now, but. Why is it important, um, this representation, and why did we make it a thing? And that's because only 2% of the maritime industry is women. Um, and when I started with Celebrity Cruises, 4% of our bridge team fleet-wide was female, and today it's over 32% on every single ship that we Thanks to this lady right here, and these folks down here. Captain Kate, another historic thing that you've done is you're very active on social media. I think yeah. between the platforms that you're on, you have four million followers. And there are still a lot of stereotypes um, about positions and who should be filling these positions. And occasionally you'll get, from time to time, a knucklehead. A knucklehead. I see something like this, I totally ignore it and move on with my life. But I think it's about high time that I address this. Because <laughs> it's 2020, and in this day and age, I'm shocked that someone still doesn't know the difference between your... Uh <laughs> they tell us is we want to go someplace we've never been. We want to engage with cultures that we've been shut off from for a couple of years. We want great food. We want great service. We want beautiful resorts. And that's exactly what we are. And whether you're the people who are cruising with us or not, they said exactly the same thing. The overlap 
was 100% and it was like a big aha for us. So as we come back into the world, we're articulating ourselves in a different way and tapping into that emotional thing that we know our guests are looking for. So we booked a three week holiday on land in Florence and Tuscany. We stayed at some beautiful places, five star resorts, or five star hotels I should say. And we get to the hotel and we check in and I'm expecting an entertainment director, I'm expecting food, I'm expecting beverages. <laughs> I open that door and it's a room. And I turn to my husband and I go, babe, why did we ever get off the ship? Just those things that I mentioned, the entertainment, the food and the drinks, but then back to your point about the, the, um, the service that we have and, and being able to have people that remember your preferences and know your first name. I mean, we were there for three weeks and they still didn't know our name and these were beautiful places. But the value that you get, especially our retreat that we have on board, I have never seen anything like it. So even after we've been you know, singing the praises of cruising, cruising all this time, it wasn't until this last vacation that I just really had this aha moment. And with everyone with this pent up need not, not an urge, it's a need to travel. There is no other way to do it than on board our ships. I first became president and CEO of Celebrity Cruises. I was appointed just about eight years ago, eight years ago next month. And um, thank you, and uh, thank you. I was, you know, I remember sitting there, the first thing I said was, oh, be careful what you wish for. And then the second thing I said was, all right, as the first woman in the company that's president and CEO and in the industry, and since everybody was talking about that, make it a big deal of it, I said, I really should probably have a woman captain. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. The ship is open, beautiful day ahead of us. Thank you. I am I'm so inspired by you. Hello everyone, welcome on board Celebrity Beyond, our newest, most innovative ship in the celebrity fleet. She is also the largest, hashtag size matters. Come and see for yourself and go beyond. The man, oh my god, he's so amazing. Can you believe his singing? Thank you very much. Mm. Keep on doing what you're doing, baby. Thank you. This is where you get your future cruise credits. Make sure you tell them Lainey Melnick is your travel agent. So I love Park West Gallery, but they have the same things on um, just about every ship. It is great to buy your art on board, though, and they have a great art auction. All right, so this, this is Raw on Five. Oh my goodness. This is raw on five. Delicious. <laughs> I love this walkway. <laughs> Hi. That's the first men's boutique. The first men's boutique on a, a celebrity seas. ship. And the seven seas. On the, oh. the, the first men's boutique focused only for men. So oh. Blanc, tokens and icons. Oh. Louis Vuitton, Gucci bags, John Hardy. Oh, interesting. jewelry for men. Beautiful. Golf clubs. Entire designer is designed <laughs> for men. So take a look. Thank you. And this is called Men High. Men High, exactly. Cool. Thank nice. you. <laughs> Eden. So you can have lunch in Eden. It has a beautiful cafe. So from um, the Eden deck, I'm going to go down to restaurants. It's a lovely staircase. So I'm having dinner at Cyprus tonight, which is right there. And on this side is Cosmopolitan. All right, so the casino is on one side. Got watches on the other, <laughs> and then the Grand Plaza, half social bar. The Grand Bistro. I've got to decide where to eat lunch today. <laughs> All right, destination gateway deck two. So this is how you get on and off the ship normally. We are not getting off. <laughs> But I'm going to show you how it's done anyway. 
<laughs> oh, and I even get some champagne. Thank you. Mm. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and of course, there's Cartier. Hello. Good, how are you? So good. You know how important chocolate is to me. Fabulous chocolate here. I don't know if you can hear it, but you can hear water. <laughs> Do you hear that? the colors would really work well today. Beautiful day here on Celebrity Beyond. So at Eden, you can get a lovely lunch. I'm going to show you what they have here. So instead of going to the big buffet, you can order here. And you can eat outside too. Ooh, sunny out. style of the bathrooms gorgeous hey my next tasting is at blue hello hi, hi what are you giving us mm. 
So Blue is the special restaurant that um, you can only be in if you're in an aqua class suite. They have a little healthier cuisine than the other restaurants. So this is zucchini. Oops. Mm. It tastes kind of like hummus around it. I'm not really sure, but it's very tasty. Very healthy, nice light lunch. Brand new on this ship is Le Voyage by Chef Daniel Ballou. So excited about this restaurant. restaurant and mm. actually with the mint lips mint oil and also with the um, lemon so it's a king crab salad to eat here in Le Voyage this is the Daniel Belude restaurant um, it's $75 per person mm. this is totally my style I should have brought my champagne <laughs> delicious amazing thank you very much mm. I love it, thank you. So the one thing about this design that annoys me, <laughs> I wanna go up to Ron 5, which is right there, but there is no staircase from here up. I have to go all the way to one side or the other to uh, go up. Take it back, I see a staircase. There is a staircase just up one more deck in the Grand Plaza. Raw on Five, my favorite place to eat here. So Raw on Five is an a la carte restaurant. It is specialty dining. Everything costs money here. It's all delicious. I usually just have food here and don't go anywhere else when I'm on board Celebrity. <laughs> or I should say it's my preference. I do eat other places as well. I gotta see them shuck some oysters. I love to see how the magic happens. It's not, uh, you know, the kind of sushi and rolls that I'm used to at home, um, but they do a lot of tempura fried kind of uh, rolls like this one. What? Mm. So good. <laughs> Finger looking good. <laughs> you know that more casino free play and the more cash you have, of course, working your way up to $5,000. This is the retreat bar. I'm looking for the plunge pool. It's starting to rain right when I wanted to do my outside pictures.
<laughs> I just took a bath in my champagne. I love the colors. <laughs> Orange. <laughs> what an amazing view. You can see the punch pool that I was in earlier. Love it. I wore the right colors today. <laughs> So Simone is the amazing godmother of this. Nice. <laughs> so for Ocean, is there a sustainability brand? I know, here I am with the co-founders and presidents of 4Ocean. They do an amazing job for the ocean. So 4Ocean is an ocean cleanup company. We employ captains and crews around the world to clean plastic out of the ocean. We sell products online, and for every product sold, we remove one pound of trash from the ocean. So our main product is our 4Ocean bracelet, made with the plastic that our crews have recovered from the ocean. And like I said, everyone sold removes one pound of trash. So we employ over 250 captains and crews around the world, and to date, we've removed over 25 million pounds of trash from the ocean. That's amazing. Please support these guys and support this business. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. They're giving us tequila sunrises. This is fun day. Home sweet home. I have to dress for dinner and the evening activities. Oh, this is the retreat snacks area for sweet guests. Beautiful. So we have a special event tonight with Dondra, but it's pouring outside. So we're trying to figure out where we're supposed to go. But I'm with Dondra, so she knows. <laughs> so I have the best seat in the house here with the, with the women. These inspirational women leaders today, starting from the amazing talk from Captain Kate and Lisa, who taught Perla, and Dondra, who I love. I can't wait to show you more. Dondra has her entourage. We have <laughs> The entire ship turned out because they're giving away our old cabins for the ascent. So first of all, did you even know that this space existed? Yep. Yes. How did you know? It was on the tour. Because you did the tour, right? right? So what I love about this space is that this is really the space where people get on and off the ship, right? And when you have a big group like corporate and incentive, meeting type of thing we literally can set this space up in here and it holds i can't even remember what the number is but so it's really kind of a cool spot especially when you know 
the um, the nature decided to do this again to us. Uh, but I do want to give a shout out to the best sales force in the industry and the best event planning team in the industry. all together so on behalf of all of us I just want to say again thank you thank you for coming these last two days thank you for drinking so much that we're out of alcohol <laughs> no, just, but no thank you for your business and your friendship and your partnership because we can't do it without you so here's what we've decided I talked to Tammy and I was only going to give away two Ascent cabins, but Tammy said I had to give away 15 <laughs> Tonight at 10 o'clock Be in Eden for Silent Disco I will be there So let's get started. We're gonna give away 15 Ascent pre-inaugural cabins. It will be December of 2023. You said five zero, right? No, I said <laughs> one five. And you're recording it. All right, so let's go. Oh, one thing, you have to be here to win. Because I did not subscribe to the theory that everybody gets a trophy. social 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 yes. and you have to sell no. 900,000 <laughs> that's, that's a three more three more yeah. 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 oh, you're yeah. just losing the seven night cruise oh. 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 <laughs> I am getting 
a chocolate espresso martini. You have to get a martini at the martini bar. Make it for me. <laughs> yes. Now I can stay up tonight. Okay, so there's a beer tasting up here. I do not like beer. Imperial IP. I call it by time American IP. I don't think I have any videos at the casino. <laughs> oh. I'm 
Octopus, lovely. So excited. In the Maldives, they had the most amazing grilled octopus. And I am on the search for good octopus everywhere I go now. It's very tasty, but it's not like the octopus in the Maldives. I don't, maybe I just shouldn't try to be comparing everything to the Maldives. It's very difficult. It is very good. It's delicious. <laughs> Whoops, that's the wrong one. <laughs> 
gosh. I mean, the octopus in the Maldives was really thick, uh, and, but very tender. This is a little smaller. It's so good though. Very tasty. <laughs> this is the saganaki. So saganaki is one of my most favorite things, but I hate hard bread. And this is hard as a rock. So I'm very disappointed that they gave me hard bread. But I'm going to take one of the baguettes. See, I hate crust. Why do people not give me soft breads? <laughs> I'm gonna just go in the middle of it and get the soft bread out. This is what my kids always give me a hard time because they take all the soft middles out of all the bread. But I hate crust. So I'm going to use my little soft bread here. Ooh. Oh, this looks good though. I love when it's like grilled. So it's not, it's not very melty. I love halloumi. It's one of my favorite cheeses. It's not very melty. So I'm a little disappointed with the Saganak. It's not melty, there's no crust. It's got bread that's not good bread for me. So unfortunately, this is not the greatest for me. I'm having Pino Grigio today. It's pretty good. Hey, this is the lamb shank. Mm, delicious. Fingers crossed this is good. <laughs> it looks delicious. Ooh, it's very tender. It's good. I'm a specialty restaurant kind of girl. <laughs> so it's really hard to satisfy me in the complimentary restaurants, even on a great brand like Celebrity. Um, specialty restaurants just kind of go above and beyond. So I like that. It's very tasty. It's, <laughs> I know I'm so hard to please with food, but um, it's very tasty. It's good. I just think the specialty restaurants are way better, but it's very good. So, Kalak uh, Taborico is the Cyprus exclusive. It's not my kind of thing. And then the classics. I had that chocolate cake last night. That was not my favorite. And I don't think I'd like anything else. So I think I'm gonna just skip dessert tonight. <laughs>
so much fun. Come on, Nicole takes care of us. <laughs> she is I'm ready.
so they did a great turn down service my last turn down and gave me this awesome book oh my goodness thank you celebrity you're awesome well we're back in port everglades in florida you can see everyone getting off the ship into the port good morning on my last morning on celebrity beyond i'm heading to the airport for a one o'clock flight non-stop back to austin from miami you can use either the miami or fort lauderdale airports uh, miami is about a 40 minute drive and then um, for lauderdale though is like 15 minutes so for a quick drive use fort lauderdale if you don't mind a little extra time use miami um, I usually try to go in and out of Miami because uh, usually I can find better fares there. Thank you so much for following along the last couple of days here on Celebrity Beyond. I wish I had more time to show you more. It's really such a fun ship and the, the staff is just so genuine and authentic and loving and caring about taking care of you. Um, the service level on this ship is, is really above and beyond. But if you love the large ship experience with the amount of food available and activities uh, and entertainment, oh my gosh, the entertainment was fabulous. I loved the show last night. The art show was so good. And I didn't even get to the show in Eden, which I always love. So um, if you want those kind of perks, if you book the suites, um, you do get that butler service you do get that kind of uh, service level so you can make this into a luxury experience by the type of suite that you get um, and the retreat all of the perks that come with suites uh, that that elevates everything the contemporary brands are norwegian royal caribbean carnival for instance uh, and they all are trying to elevate and become more like celebrity. Um, celebrity is premium. So, you know, it's it's a great step up from those brands. And it's, um, and if you enjoy the luxury brands like Region 7 Seas and, uh, well, what Crystal Cruises used to be and is coming back, <laughs> um, I think you would love celebrity as well as long as you book a suite. I think that's the key. Um, the, the food in the dining rooms this two days was not like to die for amazing. Um, it, it, it was good. It was very good. But um, I think that all of the brands really put so much emphasis on their specialty dining these days that the main dining just isn't as good as the specialty dining. Um, and we weren't allowed to really experience the specialty dining the last couple of days, but Le Voyage from Daniel Boulud, oh my God, I, I mean, that's a game-changing um, restaurant. So uh, I'm so excited to go back to Celebrity to be able to experience that restaurant. Um, thank you so much, Celebrity, for having me on. It's a, just a gorgeous, beautiful ship. I love the art everywhere. And um, I love all of you, so thank you so much. Um, thanks so much for following, and please like and subscribe. I am off to Royal Caribbean Allure of the Seas tomorrow, and that is a huge ship, so going from here to that ship is, is gonna be an experience. I have four nights out of Galveston, and then I go straight again to Norwegian Encore out of uh, Miami. So. For that one's for an eight night cruise, so I will definitely be able to show you everything on that cruise. And then please follow along as I go to Cambodia and Vietnam from November 30th to December 15th. But I had to get out of my stateroom by 8 a.m. and there are breakfast places that only open until eight. So I'm gonna stop at the Coffee Al Baccio for coffee and a little pastry before heading out to the airport. I am here with another one of my most inspirational leaders. It's Lisa Litafrillo, the CEO and president of Celebrity Cruises. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so awesome. Anyway, let's, Thank let's you. post for a second. All right. <laughs> Thank you so my, much. My. Okay, final call. They're making us get off the ship.
<laughs> I wish I could stay here a few more hours or a few more days. <laughs> We're leaving. This is the gangway. So if you had checked your luggage, this is where you would pick it up. You do not need to have your passport out because it's facial recognition. All right, super easy facial recognition, customs. It was just walk through, really easy. Okay, big green bus I was told to go to, to get to Miami airport. So Celebrity offers shuttles to the airport. If you have a flight after noon, um, it's safe to go that way. Uh, otherwise, I'd suggest you set up a private shuttle or a, a, a private transfer, which I can do for you, or get an Uber, taxi, Lyft. <laughs> so this is the taxi line if you want a taxi, or if you're in one of the shuttles, you go over to the shuttle buses. Okay, we made it to Miami International Airport. The shuttle takes a really long time. We ended up waiting a long time at the port for people who um, also had to go to Miami Airport. So it doesn't leave immediately. Oh, it's starting to rain on me. Um, and then it's about a 40 minute to an hour drive depending on traffic. So be sure you leave yourself plenty of time after noon for your flights. much for following me this week. My next trip is Royal Caribbean Allure of the Seas. Be sure to follow me so that you don't miss any of it.